Imagine you were asked to round 2,4 to the nearest whole number. Now, the first thing you need to be sure of is what are whole numbers. So, whole numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc., etc. So, 2,4. 2,4 is 2 and a little bit. So, we know that the whole numbers that are close to 2,4 are 2 and of course, the next one, which is 3. So 2 comma 4 lies somewhere between 2 and 3. You know what your number line looks like by now. So you can easily picture where 2 comma 4 sits on the number line. It's over there. And your question when you're asked to round it to the nearest whole number is you're just being asked which of these numbers, 2 or 3, those are your whole numbers, which of those two is your 2 comma 4 clear, closest to? And hopefully that's quite obvious. It's closest to 2 because you can see from there to there, from 2 to 2 comma 4, it's just comma 4 steps. But from 2 comma 4 up to 3, that's comma 6 steps. So obviously the closest whole number is 2. So when you round it, you're going to round it down to get a pen, round it down to 2. Right. That's the closest whole number. Okay, so we can then see how the general picture would work. I mean, basically, if you've got, um, if you're looking at um, any number that sits between 2 and 3, well, what's the halfway point between 2 and 3? Well, it's 2 and a half, 2 comma 5. So anything that's smaller than 2 comma 5 will go be rounded down to 2 and anything that's bigger than 2 comma 5 will be rounded up to 3. So that 2 comma 5, that's the very important point that we need to consider. That's 2 comma 5. Below it goes down to 2, above it goes up to 3. So for example, if I wanted to round 2 comma 3 to the nearest whole number, Or if I wanted to round 2 comma 7 to the nearest whole number, what can I see? Well, you see, the thing is, I'm rounding to the nearest whole number. So the whole number is 2. I look immediately to the right of 2, and I see I've got a 3 there. And that 3 is smaller than the 5, the 2 comma 5. And so I know I'm sitting somewhere in this region here. And because of that, I round down to 2. Similarly, with this 2 comma 7, if I'm rounding to the nearest whole number, I look immediately to the right of the whole number and see I've got a 7. That's bigger than the 2 comma 5, that 5, which is our middle point. In other words, it's somewhere over here in this region, and so we round up to 3. So we can see, right, basically what you're doing, if you're rounding to the nearest whole number, you just look one step to the right of it at the tenths. If it's smaller than three, you come down. If it's bigger than, if it's smaller than five, like three, you come down to two. And if it's bigger than five, like seven, you go up to three. So even if you put in a whole lot of funny things afterwards, say for example I talk about 2 comma 1 9 and I want to round to the nearest whole number, if I'm talking about whole numbers I just look 1 to the right of the whole number and I see that I'm talking about 2 comma 1, right, something, well that's below 5 and so I'll round down to 2. If you want to see it exactly, 2 comma 1 9 is over there and it's obvious then you round down to 2. The fact is we didn't even need to consider this 9 at all when we were thinking because the fact that you had 2 comma 1 something tells you that you are smaller than 2 comma 5 so you round down. So you just look immediately to the right of the whole number. Similarly if I had something like 2 comma 8 3 because I'm rounding to the nearest whole number I just look one to the right of that and I see what I've got there is an eight that's definitely bigger than five and so I know I'm going to round up to three. The only other little point is this two comma five itself where does that round to? See two comma five isn't really closest to either of them right because two comma five is really exactly in the middle so it's the same distance to 
2 as it is to 3. So when we ask to round it, there's no obvious one to round it to because neither of them are closer. They're exactly the same distance. But that's not a problem. We have a sort of simple rule that we just say to ourselves what we're going to do with the comma 5. Because it's exactly in the middle, we're in fact going to just round it up to 3. There's no real reason for doing that. It's just a convention that we've decided that 2 comma 5 that sits exactly in the middle will round up. OK, but we might be asked to do something different, like, for example, um, not just round to the nearest hun um, whole number, but say round 2 comma 3 2 to the nearest tenth. Now, let's just be very clear. What do we mean? Where are the tenths? You should know from your place value, right, that this is your tenths, right? It's 2 comma 3 that's your tenths. So the 3 is the tenths. So you know you've got 3 tenths and a little bit. So where are you lying? You're lying somewhere between where you've got 3 tenths, which is here, and where you've got 4 tenths, which is over there. Now we can make this number line, let's just stretch it out a little bit bigger so I can um, see exactly what I'm talking about here. If I've got 2 comma 3 2, where is that going to be? It's 2 comma 3 and then two little hundredths further, further on, it's going to be over there. And if they ask me, round it to the nearest tenth, well, quite obviously, that's going to just round down nicely to 2 comma 3. And if they asked me to round 2 comma 3 7 to the nearest tenth, okay, so again, I'm dealing with 3 is, three is in my tenth position, so I'm going to be talking about it's 3 and some more. So it's somewhere between 2 comma 3 and 2 comma 4. Where is 2 comma 3 7? Well, it's 2 comma 3 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 little bits here. So it's going to be over there. And you can see quite easily that that's going to go up to, right, be rounded up to 2 comma 4. So let's think about it. How does this work? Same way as it did last time. Where is the midpoint? It's halfway, right? So it's one, two, three, four, five little hundredths along the way. So what you've got is everything up to two comma three five will get rounded down to two comma three. And then everything from two comma three five up to two comma four will be rounded up to two comma four. So if they ask me to round uh, 2 comma 3, 7, 9, 2, 5 to the nearest tenth, here's what I do. They're asking me to round to the nearest tenth. So I underline the tenths and I look immediately one to the right of that. And I see what I have one to the right of that is a 7. That 7 is bigger than a, the 5, which is your halfway point. So this thing is going to round up to 2 comma 4. Similarly, if they asked me to round 2 comma 3, 4, 1, 2, 9, 8, 7, 6, doesn't matter whatever else they put, to the nearest tenth. I underline the tenth because that's what I'm rounding to. And I look just one step to the right of that and I'm trying to see am I above or below the halfway point. The halfway point will be five and is four below or above that. It's below that. And so that will round down to two comma three. Right? This 2, 3, 4, blue, blue, blue will be sitting just somewhere over there, and so it will round down to 2, 3. Again, if we're given 2, 3, 5 itself, just by convention, although that slap bang in the middle, we'll actually round it up to 2, 4. Okay, here's one I want you to quickly try for yourself. Uh, round 2, 9, 7, 3 to the nearest tenth. Pause the video and try it now. All right, let's have a look at this one together. 
This one, just remember, it's a slightly funny one. Um, 2 comma 9, 7, 3 to the nearest tenth. So we're rounding to the nearest tenth. We must underline the tenth and look one step to the right of that. Halfway between the two will be the five. And so we have a look at this seven here. And we see that that seven is bigger than the five. So we must round up. Now, this is where making sure you know your number line is important, right? Because what's the tenth that comes after 2 comma 9? If you have a look in your number line, what comes after 2 comma 9 is a tenth. It's 3 comma 0, right? So, or 3, right? Same thing, 3 comma 0 or 3. So after 2 comma 9, you get 3 comma 0. So when you round this, you're going to round it up. And you're going to round it up to 3 comma 0, which you can also just write as 3. And it might worry you a little bit that is this really a tenth? Of course it's a tenth, right? It's 3 comma 0.